I don't do, uh, I don't really, you know, I'm going to do a street joke, but you have to understand what a street joke means, more or less. It's a joke that's so ugly that you really wouldn't do it in public like I'm about to. <laughs> I got a few jokes like that. Now, you got a choice. You can either hear the ugly joke or the really ugly joke. <laughs> All right, remember, you asked for this. So I don't want to fucking hear groans and shit, all right? <laughs> Ever since 9-11, there's been a lot of hero worship going on, you know, they, you know, with the firefighters and all that. And that's cool and everything. I don't really have it in for the firefighters, though, frankly, you know, they took their own sweet fucking time getting to my house. <laughs> the other thing is, I don't understand, you know, why do they have to lie to us? Don't lie to me, dude. You know, the firefighters, oh, I wanted to become a firefighter because I wanted to help people. Bullshit, okay? You and I both know you became a firefighter because you know chicks like it. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to get you late, see? Not a firefighter within 10 miles, the women are already getting excited. <laughs> see, I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Like, you know, what makes a 12-year-old kid with leukemia such a hero? You asked for this, people! <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, it's okay for a 12-year-old kid, you know, to get leukemia and die at an early age. That's fucked up. That's wrong. It's not okay. You know what? He doesn't think it's okay either. He doesn't think he's a hero either. But let's not call him a hero. Jesus Christ. It's not like he jumped in front of leukemia before he hit a five-year-old retarded boy, okay? <laughs> That's it, kids. 